are working on this uh, uh, album together and uh, coins happen to be a very important part where Uzbekistan and India has shared cultural relationships and ties. So uh, my project, uh, my little paper here is about what exactly were the Kushan kings depicting on their coins and what they left behind for the Indian emperors later on to follow and how uh, there, there is, uh, they set up a kind of definition for royal costume, royal portraiture and uh, royal stance and things like this. So here we see that he's depicted wearing a conical cap and the Kushan tunic with a front opening. The cap has a band tied to it with loose ends which are seen fluttering on the side. The crease and the folds of the tunic suggest the heavy fabric. The reverse of the coin that we saw previously depicts uh, Shiva in the indigenous attire. So uh, what is interesting is that uh, the Kushan coin is not only showing the, uh, the Kushan uh, costumes and royal portraiture, but at the, simultaneously is also depicting uh, the indigenous uh, fabric and indigenous textiles very faithfully. The next that we see is uh, we see him wearing a full sleeve coat and a loose salwar. Uh, the tunic depicts uh, the stitching on the hem portion towards which it is, um, it is visible on the inner side and there is a cloth that is placed on his shoulder. This one is a very elaborate one. Uh, this shows the bust of the king in a very uh, tight close-up. Uh, there are folds in the upper portion of the garment from the uh, and that they run along the neck neckline to the torso. A peculiar headgear is depicted which appears to be studded with stones or perhaps uh, precious stones. Uh, the sleeves of the coat are unique in this case. Uh, the drapes of the clothes uh, collected at the end. This is a uh, Vasudev uh, which is shown uh, holding a trident and uh, this one is a particularly elaborate one. Uh, there is a tunic full sleeves, it is flared, it is uh, either studded or embroidered very heavily. We see them, uh, we see him wearing shalwar uh, with uh, pleats, uh, he's wearing boots. Um, uh, before me, uh, Professor Shankar was giving a very interesting presentation and mine connects to his, uh, is the idea of having a nimbus around. So these are the coins that precede the Kushans and uh, the whole, uh, largely my project is about finding the similarities of what the Guptas choose to take from the Kushans and take forward and what they choose to reject. So of course we see that there are times when there is, uh, when the Gupta king who is an indigenous king is shown sometimes in a foreign style drapery, sometimes he is shown in indigenous style of drapery. Um, of course on the reverse, like I said, uh, the, the depiction of the deity is uh, very uh, faithfully in the indigenous attire. Thank you.